thing? Download an app. And they have a million apps just to like drill yourself a basic five times six. But a million, a million of those really use it, helps. Use it during class. Yeah, no. Okay, so what I need to do, and I'm going to work vertically. Sometimes when you were little, you started, you did this. And that's how they work it at St. Clair, and that's how I would do it with transitions, but it's more helpful for higher level stuff to work horizontally and then vertically. But anyway, so looking at the bottoms, not what goes into them. I know two goes into those, I know six goes into those, but what will they both go into? 60. Okay? Remember the easiest way to find that is take the biggest number and make a list. 30, add another 30, get 60, 90, and then see which one 12 will go into first. Okay? There's other cool ways I can show you if we have time at the end of class. There's some fun stuff. There's some really cool methods. But anyway, so 60. So I want this bottom to be 60. So what do I need? Five. Okay, you're looking at this one. Okay, I'm looking at a different one. But five. Okay, we'll do five. So five over five. And I want to see that times five over five. So like I said, it's more important today the method rather than the answer. What does this fraction need? Two is two. Two over two. So I'm not really changing anything because two over two is one, right? So when I multiply by it, I don't change any value. So this gives me 5 over 60. This gives me 2 over 60. So now I can literally subtract the tops and get 3 over. Bottom stays the same. 3 over 60. So the last thing I need to do is, does it reduce? Sure does. I get 1 20. Good stuff. Because so like I said, we're going to be doing this with trig. Like sine over cosine times tangent over tangent. Good stuff. So you have to know how to add and subtract fractions to do that. Because your calculator is not going to do that for you. No matter how fancy they are. No, it's not. That's one of my favorite sections.